I met uh, Sean Gladwell 18 years ago and given that he was born in 1972 which makes him only 42 this year it's a significant part of his life. Jean Sherman was interested in a fresh gaze onto Sean's work, you know, something different. I adopted Sean uh, into the Sherman Gallery's uh, group of artists, represented on an ongoing basis. I'm a great believer, and always have been, that you pick your artists, you follow talent, but you then leave them free to explore uh, the byways and highways of their own creative vision because once you start directing them, it all goes wrong. The way that I've uh, produced the work is through these smaller works. So the work behind me, the mist, the mist screen and the sunlight school video that's projected onto it, that was probably the first work uh, that I produced. It was great. If I'm going to think about the, the project like as a whole, it's really tough for me in a way because I kind of see it as a strategy of fragments. There's all these like works that are in conversation with each other. We have got the most remarkable kind of uh, installation which has involved moving image, which has involved Sean actually writing a text. I believe that for Sean Gladwell, the book is an outmost important piece in this very moment in Sean Gladwell's work. He actually asked um, two uh, known philosophers here in Sydney, Paul Patton, Denis Twelves, to help him with the writing, and then also Kit Mesham Muir, who has written a lot about his work, to contribute to this book. Nancy Bird Walton, who was an Australian aviator, woman pilot, first commercial pilot. She was taught by Charles Kingsford Smith. He disappeared off the coast of Burma and the aeroplane and his body were never found. Sean has reimagined Nancy Bird, looking for her mentor, her friend. If I was to come up with an anecdote for the whole project was that Catherine Puey, who's the performer in the Nancy Bird Walton portrait. We, uh, we got her out into some huge surf. The idea behind it was Nancy Bird Walton at this stage, um, in my imagination, was trying to find her friend and mentor. I first met Sean through his video at the Venice Biennale. His tendency to work on the extreme, the extreme body, the extreme exercise, and I'm actually a medical doctor and a researcher and I have done a lot of research on what extreme conditions do actually to cells. But there was a tight link there on my interest for the extreme and Sean's interest for the extreme. The stress that Nancy Bird Walden undergoes while, while she is in this violent ocean. This exposure to extreme conditions is so present in Sean's work. The body is of utmost importance, but it's Sean's work. It's absolutely essential. You can read it in many ways. I mean, it could just be um, an exploration. There's a huge amount of water in the lacrimal chair, water is tears, tears are loss, uh, loss, uh, the mist is the sort of melancholic atmosphere, very complex uh, exhibition both conceptually, uh, technically, it is a really beautiful, beautiful show.